You're listening to the All American Actors Podcast, episode 33. In today's episode, we are talking about why thinking about the U.S. character from your point of view is preventing you from booking the role. That's coming up next. Ready to go behind the scenes and learn what it really takes to build a sustainable career as a working actor in the U.S. film and TV industry? Join me, Catherine Beck, your all-American accent coach, as I give you the insight and inspiration to take action on your career. Learn my best tips and tricks to performing with an American accent and hear from working actors and other industry professionals to give you a comprehensive overview of this biz we call showbiz. This is the All-American Actors Podcast. Before we jump into today's episode, I am giving a big shout out to one of my students, Miriam, who says, I've been with Catherine for a while now, and I'm absolutely loving this podcast. It's so helpful and well explained. I'm Portuguese, and I can say that her coaching goes for everybody who knows how to speak English. Catherine has an attention to detail and care for people that goes beyond measure. I definitely recommend you to listen to this podcast and check out her website to learn more of the accent. Thank you, Miriam. I love that you're enjoying the podcast and I really enjoy working with you and watching you grow in the accent and really seeing your dedication to learning and improving. You know, when English is not your first language, it really can be a struggle to learn and master the American accent as an actor. And there really is a little bit more of a learning curve. And I am so honored to be able to help and support you, Miriam, and my other students who are in a similar position to help guide them to discover their all-American voice so they can feel confident and connected to the American roles they audition for and book. Now, if you're listening and you've been loving this podcast, do me a favor, just take a few seconds, pause this podcast, click subscribe, tap those five stars, and leave a brief review. Your feedback matters to me. It's so great to hear, and it also helps us get ranked by Apple. So if you're loving this podcast, go ahead and leave us a review. Okay, now when I moved to Australia, I was like a fish out of water. I had never really been much out of the country, except for Mexico and Canada, which is still within the North American continent. And when I got here, I still wanted to be an actor. So for some of you listening already, you know my story. But for those who don't know, when I moved here, I set out to learn an Australian accent to book more roles over here. Now, What I learned through this process, without diving into all the specifics, is that learning a new accent is hard, but inhabiting a character who is from another country and sounding authentic in the accent is even harder. So I can totally relate to your struggle, and the struggle is real. This stuff is not easy. In fact, it's probably a lot harder than you thought. Most people think, how hard can it be to speak like an American? I hear it on television all the time. But the tricky part is embodying the character physically, vocally, and mentally. And that's why I say thinking about the character from your point of view may be holding you back from booking U.S. roles. Think about it. You are creating an American character who was born in the U.S., but when you go to analyze the text, interpret your character, what your character is saying, there can sometimes be a miscommunication. So, for example, if you take a line of text from your scene, let's say your text is, I really like that sweater you're wearing. That's your line. I really like that sweater you're wearing. How would you say it in your natural accent? Go ahead, try it now. Say it in your natural accent. I really like that sweater you're wearing. Notice how the words come out, the delivery of the words, and how you are feeling. Now this time, I want you to say the line again, but in your American accent. I really like that sweater you're wearing. Okay, we're going to try it again a second time, but this time in the American accent. And before we jump in, I want you to imagine like you're talking to one of your really great friends. All right, we're going to say it again. And this time, 
I want you to imagine like you're talking to someone who is American. It it could be somebody that you know. If you don't know any Americans, it could be a celebrity, somebody that you've seen on TV or a movie. But I want you to imagine that you're talking to somebody who is American. And we're going to say it again in your American accent. I really like that sweater you're wearing. What did you notice was different aside from the pronunciation? Did anything else change? If not much else changed, for example, your intonation, your melody was very similar. Think about this. In order to speak like an authentic American character, an authentic American speaker, how would we possibly think differently in this scenario? And therefore, if we're thinking different, how would that affect the delivery of our speech? Now, I know, I realize that this is very advanced stuff, and this is stuff that I teach in my online American accent program. But in today's episode, I wanted to give you just a bird's eye view because it's often something that is overlooked when we inhabit or are trying to inhabit another accent. And it's one of the main principles of my all American accent method is in order to speak like an American, we need to think like an American. And once you start thinking about your text differently, once you are aware of this, it's hard not to see it right there in the text. That is what I teach my students all the time. And that is what I am sharing with you today to inspire you, to challenge you to just start thinking a little bit differently about how you implement the American accent into your text. And good news for you, if you want to learn more about my all-American accent method, I just started my free five-day all-American accent challenge, and there is definitely still time to join. All you need to do is sign up at katherinebeck.com slash challenge, and I will see you there. Now, if you love this episode, go ahead, let me know, take a screenshot of the show, share it on your Instagram story, and tag me in it at Catherine underscore Beck underscore. You can find me there. If you've got any questions or topics you'd like to hear me talk about on the podcast, send me a DM and let me know. And coming up next week on the show, I am putting the spotlight on one of my students, Emma Cam, who's going to share with us her experience working in Canada with her all-American accent. Now make sure to share the show with all your actor friends, let them know what's coming up next week, and invite them to tune in with you and learn how to become an all-American actor so you can be the working actor you dream to be. Until then, go practice your American accent and I'll see you back here next time.